Okay, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and this is the very first video I'm filming of the year. So ideally more lights would be good, but I seem to have broken somehow everything I own. I need to update my tripod, I need to update my lighting. Um but we're vibing, we're vibing, so it's a uh, fine. It's a bit of a mood lighting in this little corner of uh, my um of my home library so this video is a book haul and um i may have a lot of books to be fair though i have been collecting these books since like may so it's like a couple of months worth of a book so if you spread them out like that not as many but still Still a lot of books. So I'm going to divide them up by category. So I'm going to tell you about the books I have read first. So they can go back on the shelves. And then the books I've started. <laughs> and then lastly the books I haven't picked up yet really. Um, which is the biggest pile of them all. Well technically there's three piles worth of those books. So yeah let's just right on into it so first up we have the books that i have read and most of them i've talked about uh during the year but some i've not talked about yet because i haven't filmed a wrap up since september so i have october november and december to catch up on which will happen soon yeah i i've been sick okay i've been sick <laughs> i took a accidental social media break it happens but today is a book haul so let's just get it let's just get into it shall we so the first two books i have are the same book it is the night circus by erin morgenstern so keen observers may see these are annotated and let's see if i remember correctly this one is annotated by val and this one is annotated by katie and i annotated actually this cover um for both val and katie as well i don't have my own copy uh because i only bought two copies because broke uh <laughs> which you'll see soon um so i'm gonna get my own cover which will be none of these but also another copy of the night circus because why not why not so the night circus what is the night circus about i don't know it's it's about these two people these boy and this girl whom i cannot remember what they called um and basically they are in competition with each other and uh somehow ends up being a competition at a circus because uh why not basically they sort of i'm not really sure what is the whole point of their competition really but it's a good vibe it's actually a very good vibe so i read uh the starless sea previously this year and so i really wanted to read the night circus after that which is technically erin morgan's first book but doesn't matter which order you read them in because it's it's not a series or anything like that um so having read the style of sea i really really wanted more of erin morgenstern's vibes which i definitely got in this book fantastic you should definitely pick it up so in june of this year i did read the midnight sun the midnight sun just midnight sun by stephanie meyer which is edward's perspective of twilight um so i was one of those people that actually read the unfinished version what was it like in 2008 or something of um midnight sun um online because <laughs> uh yeah i was very much into twilight um not in the same way that everybody else is because i think it's a terrible terrible series well Mm, I should rephrase that. I think it's written poorly as far as the characters. The characters are stupid AF. Um, but yeah, uh, I did enjoy this book, but do I really think it, um, it was necessary? No, no, definitely not. Um, but still, I bought it. It's a chunky chunky boy and um, yeah, it shall go live with all the rest of uh, said twilight books yeah 
and then we have the Christmas Wish Balenci Kelk. Let me tell you. So this book, I can't remember her name. Hang on. Gwen. So <laughs> Gwen, uh, newly single, might be losing her job, all that jazz is on her way to her family's house um, to celebrate Christmas. She kind of ends up in a Groundhog Day kind of a loop. So she relives Christmas Day over and over again. I don't remember how many times, but a lot of times. And this was so good. If you like contemporary Christmas rom-com vibes, read this book because chef's kiss chef's kiss might actually be the best lindsay kelp book to date i mean it is the latest one so i mean the more you write the better you get at it but chef's kiss go pick this up if you like those rom-com vibes also gorgeous cover yeah and then we have mini baby bells babel 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 whatever way you want to pronounce the title of this book by rf kwan let's enjoy the sprayed edges for a bit because i mean they're all just black but still they're giving me all the vibes also shiny shiny oh it's very shiny so this is a dark academia book I don't know what to say I I can't really explain the plot I think most people know the plot of this book by now because it's a very hyped book and by all means by all means no yes um, I really enjoy this book honestly I'd read it again um, just not at this point precise moment in time but I will probably pick this up again in the future because I had all the vibes with this um yeah so babel bubble mini baby bells I don't know how to pronounce it honestly so I'm just calling it mini baby bells so we have uh, this wicked fate by Kayleen Bayron so I read this poison heart I want to say last year yeah and I got kind of obsessed by it. So this is book two, um, which concludes the whole story. Um, basically, what's her name? Bree? Breesis? Um, she um, has some plant power in her. That's the short of it, really. Um, it's, it's an interesting tale with some, what you may call it, some Greek history. Not really history, but myths and fables and very, 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 very loosely based, I want to say. But it's a good time. It's a YA, so it's a very easy read. Um, but it's a good time. And then I have the first three uh, Nevermore books. Um, so we have Nevermore, The Trials of Morrigan Crow, uh, Wondersmith, The Calling of Morrigan Crow, and that's my laundry machine beeping in the background, if you can hear that, uh, which you probably do. Uh, and then we have the third book, which is Holopogs, The Hunt for Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend. So I read these because um, Chatty recommended, well, she recommended the first book and then me being me, I just picked all the books that are currently out up and I devoured them such a good time um i suppose there are a middle grade kind of a vibe but such a good time such a good time for just magic adventures giant talking cats <laughs> like it's on the cover something along those lines um i cannot wait for the fourth book to come out and I don't know how long this series is going to be, if it's just the fourth book or if it's going to be more. Either way, I'm here for all those uh, vibes. Uh, yes, I am. And then we have Zodiac by Romina Russell, which was, I want to say, our uh, October book club pick of the month. I'm pretty sure. So this is another YA. It's kind of based on the uh, Zodiac Galaxy. So it's a 
excuse me so it's a sci-fi ya kind of a deal um it wasn't the best book in the world but also it's just vibes it's a good time i do really want to pick up the three last books in this series because i want to know how it ends um it's just a good vibe honestly but i do really like i do enjoy this cover mm, yeah and then the last book that I've read, which is actually the very last book of the year I've read in 2022, and it's The Crude Print oh, by Holly Black. So, <laughs> some people may know that I've tried to order this series a good couple of times, and somehow, for some reason, I've never actually gotten this series um, in my hands. Thank you all the book ordering pages out there uh, for not wanting me to have this series. No. Um, so this is a very hyped series, or at least it was a very hyped series. Um, I do believe people still talk about this series quite a bit, but also, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I wouldn't say it's life-changing, but it's a very good time. I am here for all these fey vibes. Um, honestly, so we kind of start out with um, this a fey. Is he a prince or what is he? He's a fey dude. He comes in and kills uh, the parents of these three kids because apparently the oldest kid is actually his, and the wife um, and his wife is the one he murders the mum. And uh, yeah, she ran up ran up ran off with this human dude and they had two more kids twins i believe yeah and so we follow one of the twins perspective i don't know who we follow in the rest of the books if we continue following um what's her name jude but honestly jude is a crazy clever little uh girly girly and uh yeah i'm 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 here for these vibes. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to pick up the rest of the books. And also, I do believe, like in these first couple of days of the year, the new like sequel series, what you might call it, of the uh, the said book is uh, coming out. So vibes, you know, vibes. So those were all the books I've read so far. Um, a good couple of books. <laughs> A good couple of chunky books. So, moving on to the books that I've started that are also new. So, let's just pick them up, shall we? So, I will have a bookmark in each of these. So, the first one is A Bloodmark by Tracy Dion, and it is the second book in a Lego, 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 Legend Board cycle. Um, so I read the first book last year, I want to say as well, um, Obsessed. So it's these, so it's this Arthurian legend kind of a deal and also some other kind of magic system that I'm not really sure what it's based on. At least I can't remember what it's based on. Either way, it's a good vibe. Um, I am obsessed with um, the sprayed edges of these. Uh, yeah, you know. You know I love the special editions of books and stuff. Um, I'm not very far into it, but it's vibes. It is vibes, and I'm here for all of them. <laughs> um, so, next book is uh, The Secret History by Donna Tart, which is a book I picked up. Uh, I was going to read it, like, in tandem with Babel, Babel, be me to Baby Bells, that one. Um, but... I only I only got so far in it um, because I kind of like the vibes of a Babel more than I did the Secret History. It's a lot more darker, at least <laughs> the beginning part of the book. Also, Babel was a lot easier to read than this felt at the time. So yeah, but I am excited to finish it. I want to know what this deal is all about. So yeah, Dark Academia vibes, something along the lines. Um, all I know so far, it's, there's been a murder of some sort. Because that's kind of the book. That's kind of how the book starts. Yeah. 
And <laughs> this is actually our November book club pick of the month. It's the, the City of Brass by S. H. Chakraborty. So, <laughs> yeah, I've only I'm 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 only like this far ahead. Uh, yes, I am behind on my reading, but it's a good time. It's just that the text, the font in this book is so small, and uh, there's so many names and titles, and it's all confusing to me. Uh, well, it's making me confused, rather. So, um, I keep picking up and putting it down and reading something else and then going back to it. It's not that I don't want to read it, it's just that uh, it's a lot for my brain currently for some reason. Mm. Maybe I just want some like easy peasy action packed stuff. I don't know. I do. I have been enjoying the plot. I also. I'm not too sure what the whole point of the plot is, which considering I'm about 300 pages in, I should be having some vibes, but you know. I don't know. So, uh, next book I have is, uh, well, I've been waiting for this one to come out. Well, it did come out in, like, May or something. Um, because all my Sarah J Mass books are the same height. Um, so I like that. So this is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Mass. Um, so I did get the new covers for these. So I did reread, um, the first... Well, three books and the novella, I guess, um, so I could, uh, you know, catch up again and read this book. Well, refresh my brain of what the story is. So far, not very far in, so far I'm feeling like, um, what's her name, Feyre? She's a little sissy girl, whereas in the first couple of books she's like a bit of a badass and uh, Nesta is just a bitter old crow. <laughs> This one follows Nesta, mostly. There's some other characters as well. But Nesta is more like average. Well, she's, you can tell her bitter feelings so far. So you can tell Nesta is more like a regular person. And then Feyre is more like, I'm a sister little princess queen. Ah, oh, I don't know. Um, we shall see. I've, like, like, you, like you see, I am not very far in. Um, but I am... Um, Looking forward to finishing that one so that when the right paperback size of House of Sky and Breath comes out, hopefully in February, fingers crossed, I can read that because I really enjoyed the first Crescent City book. So I want to know what more happens, but apparently you need to have read A Court of Silver Frames before you re read before you read House of Sky and Breath because it's going to make more sense to you. So that's what I'm doing. Also, I've not read it yet before, so, you know. And the last book that I've started is The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson, which is the second book in the Mistborn Era 1 series. Uh, not very far <laughs> into this one either. I started this just, like, prior to midnight on New Year's Eve, uh, just because vibes. And also... Well, you'll see very shortly when I go through the books I haven't read yet. But um, Ezra and Katie got me the uh, third book because the second book wasn't in store. Well, it wasn't in the store we were in. So I kind of ordered this one so I can like get back to it. I've been wanting to get back into this series since I read the first book, The Final Empire, which. Ah, but apparently this one or is it the next one? One of them is going to crush me, crush my soul, crush my will for living. Um, so, <laughs> well, okay. So, those were all the books I started. <sighs> Break time. So, like I've already mentioned, I did get The Cruel Prince. Um, but I also got, uh, which order are they in? Uh, the Wicked King and the Queen of Nothing, so I can read book, I almost said one and three, two and three, I think that's the right order. Order? Order. What is wrong with my speaking? So I was at the works and I found a, like, box set of the first three books. The first three books, yeah. Let's say that. Uh, for £12, I was like, yes, I am finally getting this series in my hand. So I got them. 
and also 12 pounds for three books decent <laughs> not gonna complain about that then um while at the works i also got because this was also crazy cheap i don't remember what i paid for these but it was crazy cheap so i got the I think there's more, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to say the first six books in the land of stories. This is so many glares, it's crazy. But let's do it like this. Ha <laughs> ha. So we have The Wishing Spell, uh, A Grim Awakening, Wow, Worlds Collide, uh, Beyond. Beyond the Kingdoms, uh, an author's odyssey, wow, well, all the guys, and the Enchantress Returns. So these are all by Chris Colfer, which is the guy from Glee. Uh, I remember when Glee was, um, well, when it was still ongoing, uh, and he was like writing these thick ass books at the same time as he was like well co-starring i guess in glee on glee one of those uh and i was like how does he have all this time but okay um i think they're like a middle grade ya kind of a deal it's a land of stories i'm just gonna go vibe with them because i've heard they're good so i've been wanting to pick them up and also i got all those six books for i think it was like 10 or 12 pounds as well so um bargain so even if i don't like them i'm gonna be okay with having spent that money but you know you know so this is a book i got from katie for christmas it's called ink in the blood by kim schmeckle <laughs> i don't know i have no idea what this book is about i really i'm really vibing with this cover though um, I don't think I've heard of this book. One performance can change your destiny. I'm really vibing with the cover though. Yeah, yeah, that's all we need to know. I think this might be like the first in a series, but I'm not sure. Yeah, just vibing with the cover. This is also a book I got from Katie. Um, also a book I haven't heard of. Uh, it's called Empress of All Seasons by Emiko Jean, I want to say. Um, and yeah vibing with this cover uh i'm very sorry but from this moment you're dead cool that's what it says on the back it's a quote intriguing we shall see what all these books are about later you know yeah so this is the one i have pre-ordered myself it's blade breaker by victoria aviard uh, which i'm just seeing it's a bit of damage down there. Thank you for sending me a bit of a damage book. It's signed by the author, apparently. But I'm mostly here for this, the spine. No, the sprayed edges. Wow. And, you know, the map. So this is the second book in the... Is it called the Round Breaker series? Either way, um, the first book is called Round Breaker. This is the second book, Blade Breaker. I read Round Breaker last year? Probably. It was, I'm pretty sure it was our first book club pick uh, for the Chaos Court. And um, uh, I was kind of, it took me a while to get into that book because there's so many perspectives and they were all over the place. But once they like sort of like, came to the same place as it were gained up gained up what am i even saying um i was vibing and so i want to continue on and see what happens apparently there's supposedly gonna be a lot of books in this series so we shall see how that goes um for me because that's a lot and this is a book I don't know what it's about, but I'm also vibing with the cover and the... Ah, oh, stop thinking it's spine, it's sprayed edges. Uh, so this is Alone With You in the Ether by Olivia... Uh, Olivia... Olivia? Uh, Olivia Blake. That's not her actual name, but... Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I'm <laughs> definitely living for. It's also a very tiny book, a very skinny book, so I'm hoping this could be like a fast read. Another Olivia, uh, Olivia, Olivia Blake, whatever, is the Atlas Paradox. Um, yeah, spray out this. I don't have the first Atlas. The Atlas Six, yes. Uh, I don't have that one, so I need to get that one at some point this year, so I can read that one and this one. And apparently, there's a third one coming out this year. I think it's going to be called the Atlas Complex, and it may or may not be the last book. I don't know, um, but people are talking about this book, and I want to read it. So now I have the second book. <laughs> That's that makes so much sense and also a second book in a series I have is the dragon's promise by Elizabeth Lim um, Just regular sprayed edges uh, so <laughs> The reason I got this was because I preferred this cover to on the series and not the other one Let's see if I can put up a picture here um, So now I need to get what's it called six crimson cranes, I believe uh, in this cover, preferably also in a hardback, so, you know, they match. Um, but, honestly, I don't know what they're about, but I'm vibing with this cover and the colours. And, uh, oh, I don't know. Ooh. And because, just because, let's continue on with the second book in the series. Because <laughs> uh, that's what I have again. So this is The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber, the second book in the, what is the series called? And what was the first book called? It was something about a broken heart. Mm, I don't know. Um, yes. Second book in the series. Yeah. Um, I do believe, so yeah, I need to get that as well. Right. And I do believe also the third book in the series comes out sometime this year, so exciting times. I might get the first and the third book at the same time, possibly, um, or not. Uh, or I'll just pick up one book and wait for the other book. I don't know. And see if I do like a um, reading vlog kind of a deal. I should do that for a lot of these, but let's see what happens, shall we? So, a book that was a uh, very, very hype, but then when most people read it, it was like, Meh, what is this crap? Um, I still pre-ordered it because, um, yeah, I sprayed edges. Yeah. So, it's A Book of Night by Holly Black. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I believe there's a second book coming out this year, but also not too sure. I am very bad at keeping track of like when things are coming out and not. I really need to make a better list and uh, keep track of things. And also maybe not and just vibe with the books I have. Ha <laughs> um, <laughs> Continuing on because we are got we we have quite a few more books. Okay, so this is The Dance Tree by Kieran Millwood Hargrave. Prettiness, prettiness. Uh, no idea what this book is about, but I read, I read one of her books, which I cannot remember what it was called, but it was, I think it's blue and stunning and it had loads of like illustrations throughout. It was something about moons and stars and I don't know. Wow, I'll put it up here. If you're editing me, remember to put it up here. Woo. Um, I really enjoy that book. And ever since, I do believe that was like one of the first book or the first book. But ever since I read that one, I've been like, I want to read more of their books. This was a good couple of years ago. So um, they've written quite a few more books. I, I do have one other book in this pile here by said author so yeah but also skinny books so I'm kind of excited I do believe it's a standalone so that's gonna be a mess and and then I have the book that no one wanted to read by Richard Ayoyo Ayoyo 
<laughs> Richard A. W no, Richard A. Wade. <laughs> Fuck it out. I do know how to say his name. Why wasn't I able to know? This is also a very, very short book. Uh, I believe it's a, like, it's not an adult book. However, I did hear a, like, little excerpt, ex something i did hear a little clip of him narrating this book so i might actually try to find the audiobook and listen along to uh while reading it because i'm just gonna hear his voice in my head while reading it anyway so i might as well actually hear his voice he has a very special certain he has a very special voice and it's you gotta you gotta hear it you gotta know it to know it yeah, but yeah, I'm I'm actually very excited to read this book. Um, when I saw he'd written a book, I was like, yes, give it to me. I like that dude. He is a funny and all that jazz. So then we have Space Band by Tom Fletcher. I am a big Tom Fletcher fan. Um, mostly his music, but also his books. Um, they are just a good time. I mean, they are middle grade, somewhere among the lines of middle grade YA books, middle grade probably more like, um, but they're a good time. They're a good time. Um, I do want to know about this. This music, this book contains musical awesomeness performed by McFly. This makes me feel like I should have like a, uh, CD or something in here, um, with the with this McFly music but I also have seen on Spotify that there's a song that goes along to this book so I don't, I don't know how this is gonna work um but this little sticker does make me think there's something missing in this book so um yeah I I'm I'm, I'm excited he just writes good time books good vibey books right so let's get into the other pile of books. So many piles of books here. So, another book I got from Ikea to for Christmas is uh, the Spanish Love Deception. The Spanish Love Deception. Wow, talking is hard. By Elena Amas. So, apparently, she and Val have both read this book and think I should read this book. That was what she said. Um. So I guess I'm going to read this book. It is, it's a TikTok book, isn't it? It's one of those hype TikTok books, isn't it? I don't know. I don't keep track of things. Clearly. Um, so yes, like I said, got this one, which I have started. And Katie, all, Katie and Ezra also got me The Hero of Ages about Brandon Sanderson. So yes, we'll be very excited to get to this book once I actually read the second book, which I am making progress in. Not a lot yet, but it's only been like a day. <laughs> well, two days. And then we have Forging Silver Into Stars, which I believe is a new series that Bridget Camera is writing. And yes, the cover and the sprayed edges sold me on this book. I do want to read her other series, which is what? Is it, is it the Curse Breaker series? Curse Breaker Trilogy? I still haven't gotten those, but I do want to get those. Um... Just stunning. It's very shiny though. So this is also a book. I had, yeah, I, I, I got this book purely based on the cover. Yeah. So it's A Magic Steeped in Poison by Judy I. Lynn. And yeah, I do have uh, the second book coming as well. So that will be a different video. Um, I don't know when it's going to come. Sometime this year, sometime early this year. However, however, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, but I have been seeing this book around a lot lately on Instagram, so there must be something to it, except that it's pretty. Hello, Nimue, are you gonna knock the camera down? Don't eat the tripod. Love you. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, you know me, I don't know a single thing. So this is a book that in, I want to say like April or something, Katie asked me to order her a copy and then I was like, well, I'll just order myself a copy too. No idea what the book is about, no idea what anything is about. Well, it's The Final Strife by Sarah, Sarah El Arifi. Don't come for me. Um, but yeah, spread edges. She wanted this UK cover because the US cover is not vibes. Um, so that's about it. <laughs> yeah, one of the books I got her for Christmas. Um, and a bunch of Brenda Sanderson books. Um, uh, moving on. Oh, I should have put this in a pile before. So this is the second book and I think it's a duology. Yeah, sequel to Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which I don't own, so I need to get that one as well. Uh, so this is Heart of the Sun Warrior by Sulin Tan. So this is actually a book my mum wanted. Well, she wanted the first one, but she couldn't find it. So um, I got her the first and this second book as well. Uh, and I was like, uh, yeah, sure, I, I'll get this for myself as well. Because why not? Why not? I do, <laughs> I just want it because of the cover, um, I don't know if this is one of the, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, um, well yeah, yeah no, vibes, so this is the second Kieran, blah, 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 Kieran Millwood Hargrove book, um, which is also by Tom the Freston? I think. I don't know. It's Layla and the Blue Fox. So it's it's just a stunning cover. I have no idea what this book is about. Do I ever? No, not really. I don't really know what books are about even when I have read them. But look, look at the little paw, paw prints. Uh, yeah. Gotta love, gotta love. And then we have a book I wanted to, which was on my like 23 books of 20, no, this book was actually on my 22 books of 2022 that I want to read. That list contained more than 22 books, but you know, um, so I want to read this book earlier, but then I saw they're bringing out new covers and I'm like, yes, I want these new covers because these new covers are stunning. So it's Wolf Song by TJ Klune. Um, the second, third and fourth book are going to come out in like the next couple of years or something like that. So, um, I mean, yeah, I also didn't realize it was this chunky. But, you know, I am still excited to read it. I am going to collect these uh, covers because <laughs> I love them so much. Alright, so, let's do these first. So I have three fiction books and... Right, so, this book is actually our... Uh, January pick for the Chaos Court Book Club. I need to sit differently. My my bum is hurting. So <laughs> great segment. Uh, so this book is so we are actually changing up the Chaos Court Book Club. Um, so we're going to feature more like indie authors rather than like all the mainstream ones. So the first pick we have done is Destroyer by Meg. Smitherman. <laughs> I love that act check that. Um so she actually um like she had a bunch of author copies and she like well would you like to buy a sign one? So yes. All three of us got um signed copies for Christmas and then we decided that but since we are doing indie authors um we would pick the first book because it was kind of low on time. But then, continuing on, we will put up um, the voting system. So there will be votes throughout the year. Um, but we... Christmas came around. Um, but yeah, very excited to read this book. Every, all I really know about this, because... So Katie and Val has already read this book, because he 
read an arc uh, before it came out and um, all I really know is it's something with archaeology and fantasy I'm thinking <laughs> I'm so bad at this but yeah I'm um, except for the fact hang on let's see this is the so this is a regular paperback and this is this is destroying it's so cute and tiny um, I'm very excited to read this book. It's actually it's quite stunning and it's not picking up because he wants to focus on my face. Anyway, so next two books I have. One is a, whatchamacallit, anthology collection. I don't know. It's a short story collection. It's just, that's a bunch of different authors. The reason I got this is because Katie has a short story in said books. Said books just the book so it's a uh, collective visions lost and translation transmission <laughs> wow uh you, you can tell i've been sitting here for a while now <laughs> i'm getting weird i'm weird about a second so this was a sci-fi wasn't it i don't know um so yes i got this purely because katie has a short story in it because i am a supportive friend I get my friend's books. Speaking of which, Blood Voyager by Katie Colby. I actually have a physical copy of this book. Also, she signed it. Well, she signed this one too. Um, but this one is more funny because she drew me a penis. Well, it's a rocket. But it looks like a penis. <laughs> I'm very excited to read it. However, she told me I'm not allowed to read it and I should read um, her fantasy book first which is uh, coming out this year cheeky plug cheeky plug cheeky plug Ooh. Uh, ow. I will leave a link down to her Instagram account because she is posting um sp oh, spoilers not spoilers teasers she's she's posting teasers throughout the next couple of months uh until it's a release date and i believe it's coming out in may 23rd don't quote me on that uh because my brain is not working okay Shh. but yes supportive friend of Katie, um, so I'm, I'm I'm actually very excited to read her books, and hopefully I will be getting uh, *Era of Fate*, which is the first book in her massive series. I shall be getting a like spoiler version. No, not spoiler version. I should be getting a early version to read through soon, and I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm very excited. It's uh, it's one of my top priorities this year. So the last two books are both uh, non-fiction, it's autobiographies. So we'll start with, funnily enough, uh, there's a connection between them, but it's not one I intended for. So the first one is Tom Felton's Beyond the Wand. So yeah, you know, Malfoy. Um, I'm actually quite excited to read this book. Um, there's, you know, loads of pictures from his time on there and onwards yeah there's a there's a chapter called alan rickman's earlobes so i think it's just gonna be a good time and speaking of alan rickman i also got his um i want to say like com compilation it's basically alan rickman whoa alan rickman wrote loads of like diaries throughout his life so um, this is his diaries edited, obviously, um, throughout the years, and it's exciting to see. It's actually saying, like, ah, uh, 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 just, here's one. 26th October, 11 headache, heartache. And, and that's, that's all there is on that page. <laughs> well, uh, I'm so excited to read this, and also, there the foreword is by emma thompson and they knew each other quite well and i do believe it's she read out her foreword um i think it was when the book was being published and like this she did a speech anyway and it had me sobbing and i do believe um this book will have me sobbing a bit too because 
yeah. Well, the forward one. <laughs> I'm very excited to read it. Also, this is a very good picture of Alan Rickman, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I did get my mum this one for Christmas as well. Uh, this one, I heard about it as like two years ago or something. Um, and I've been wanting to get my hands on it and it's only just come up. Of course it has. <laughs> so, those are all the books I have accumulated since May. Oh, there's a lot of books. There's a lot of books. There's a lot of books. Um, yeah. So, I'm about to go put all the red ones up on my shelf again and organise that a bit more. And, uh... Uh, yeah, continue on reading the books I have started and then I'm super excited to get into all the books that I've not yet started. Um, I think it's going to be a fun year. Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. I hope this wasn't too long or too winded and whatever else. Um, but yeah, until next time, take care. Oh, bye bye.